So now in this next video, we're going to be looking at the four specific events that we need to understand about an action potential. And in order to do this, we're going to first entitle this flowchart action potentials two. And here, be sure to look at figure 48.11. We're going to be covering the four major ideas associated with that figure, three major steps in the process of an action potential, and the one overarching theme of an action potential as well. So we're going to begin by looking at the first part of this figure, the first part of an action potential, and that's called the rising phase, which we'll do over here. So this is our first step, essentially, during an action potential. What is going to happen during the rising phase? What's going to happen is that the membrane that we're focusing on becomes very permeable to sodium, becomes very permeable meaning that it allows a lot of sodium to come in. And sodium is Na+. It's a positive ion. This permeability, this increase in permeability, is, as a, is in result to a stimulus being detected and causing this. Remember, strong stimulus can cause a strong voltage-gated response, right? And that's exactly what happens here. Because of this increase in permeability, what you notice is that most of the voltage-gated sodium channels are open. That's a common sort of uh, result of this. You have lots of sodium coming in because most of the voltage-gated sodium channels are now open because of a strong stimulus, let's say. Since those are mostly open, you're going to have an influx of sodium ions rush in. Sodium ions, which are positive, keep that in mind, rushes, those sodium ions, rush down the concentration gradient. That means that this does not involve any energy, just like voltage-gated channels are not supposed to involve energy, facilitated diffusion. These sodium ions rush down the concentration gradient into the cell. Keep in mind, the cell, its resting potential. What this is going to cause to the resting potential is something to keep in mind for right now. We won't spoil it. Okay, so that's one part of the rising phase. The other side of the rising phase is the following. What's going on to those leaky potassium channels. During the rising phase, their morphology, the way that they work, actually sort of changes. Not only do they change, but the voltage-gated channels that are also present, these are different ones, remember? The voltage-gated potassium channels, these guys, which may or may not be leaky sometimes, these are, go these are going to completely close. They'll shut down. They will not allow sodium ions to ever leave, uh, potassium ions to leave. This is all as this is happening. This would mean that potassium ions, the potassium, which is a positive, which is a positive ion, stays inside. So we're getting, keep this in mind right now, lots of positive coming into the cell, coming into the neuron, lots of positive staying in the neuron, K plus stays inside. Thus, we're getting a major depolarization event in this neuron in this axon, in this membrane, whatever you want to focus on, you're getting a major depolarization event. What does depolarization mean again? It means the inside of the cell, the inside of the cell is now at a more positive state. It originally was very negative, at a negative resting potential. It is positive versus the outside of the cell because everything that was positive on the outside has rushed in, aka the sodium ions that are in, and also everything that was leaving that was positive, the potassium, is now staying. So you get lots of positive building up in this rising phase. What does this result in? What's the big idea here? This causes what is known as a peak to be reached. It causes a voltage of plus 35 millivolts. This is a number you have to remember. You go all the way from a negative 70 millivolt stage, you reach the threshold, and then you get this huge spike all the way up until plus positive 35 millivolts. Um, and that's going to be a spike. That's what we call it, a positive 35 millivolt spike um, in the membrane potential. Spike in membrane potential and when you get that you are essentially going to reach the maximum depolarized state the cell reaches the maximum 
depolarized state. This is shown nicely in the figure 48.11 at the point at which you have this max depolarized state where you are very, very, very positive compared to your original negative resting potential state. All of this is happening. That's why it's called the rising phase. You're rising towards a more positive uh, polarity, a more positive uh, charge within the cell compared to the outside of the cell. That's our rising phase. Next phase to look at is called the falling phase. So as you're rising, you're going to reach a maximum right over here. And once you've reached that max depolarized state, you must then begin to fall. And this is going to be governed in much the same way this was governed, via voltage-gated channels opening and closing. So let's see the difference here. Here what we're noticing is that most of the voltage-gated, VG for voltage-gated, sodium channels are actually going to close. These guys close. Notice that they were very much open in the first part, the rising part. Now that they close, the membrane becomes impermeable to something, meaning that it does not allow something to come in. It becomes impermeable to what the sodium voltage-gated sodium channels were allowing to come in, which was sodium. So no more positive can rush in. This causes overall what is known as a neuron reaching a certain period, and this is a term you should know. It's called the refractory period, okay? It's called the refractory period. So, what happens in this situation? This is going to be a time in which, when we get this falling of this action potential, of this polarized state, you're going lower. You're going back to your negative state. As you're going back to the negative resting potential state, this is called the refractory period, meaning that, during this time, absolutely impossible. No other action potential is possible. This is because all of the things that allowed an action potential to happen, all of the things that allowed you to reach the threshold and go to the action potential, that's not going to happen anymore because those sodium channels that are voltage gated, their voltage is not is allowing or telling them to be closed. And in the closed configuration, you cannot have a positive influx of sodium ions. Thus, you cannot have an action potential during the refractory period. And also, this is going to be a moment at which you won't ever open them until you reset. These channels won't open until they themselves reset. In other words, until they get back to resting potential. Now, that's basically the story of the voltage-gated sodium channels. What about the voltage-gated potassium channels that were closed during the rising phase? What happens to them during the falling phase? These guys, VG, K+, voltage-gated potassium channels, what do you think is going to happen to them? They were closed. They were not letting potassium go outside. Potassium was staying inside. They're actually going to open. They're going to open a little slowly at first. They're going to open slowly um, after threshold has been reached. Okay, After you reach negative 55 millivolts, these guys will get back to their opening state and they're going to open quite slowly. But once you have reached the fully depolarized state, they will be fully open. So they are fully open at the peak depolarization that we mentioned and highlighted, which is the peak of the rising phase, which was what number? That was positive 35 millivolts. Don't forget, that's the most positive you will get. That's the peak of depolarization, the peak of being less negative and being more positive. And that's when you have the most of these positive channels, voltage gated. The voltage of positive 35 causes all of them to open. And once they're all open, you're going to have things leave before they were staying inside. Positive was staying inside because you're trying to get depolarized. Now you're trying to get back to normal. You're falling. Your potential is falling down now. You're getting more negative. K plus, therefore, those ions are now going to rush outside of the cell. Why are they rushing outside of the cell? Well, that's because they're going from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Because they were all inside at first, now 
they're all inside, but they're being told to go outside because the polar the the state of the polarization is so so positive that they're going to follow that concentration gradient. So they also don't utilize any energy and follow the concentration gradient outside. And once that happens, you will then get the completion of the falling phase, not falling rise. I don't know why that's written there. Hard to talk and write. Falling phase. So we have the rising phase and the falling phase. Basically, um, the best way to sort of uh, interpret this, I'll just draw it very quickly over here, is the following. It's hard to sort of visualize this in your head. Um, what we imagine is the following happening. We start off at a negative 70 millivolt. This is in millivolts, this y-axis. You start at negative 70. This is resting potential. And you're going to have this resting potential line here. Then what's going to happen is you're going to sort of go up a little bit until you reach this part right here, which we'll do in a dotted line. This part right here is negative 55. What is negative 55 important for? This is threshold. Once you reach threshold, you will get this huge spike all the way up until this stage right here, which was the max depolarized state of positive 35. All of this that I just did here is exemplified by the rising phase. The reason why this happens is listed right here. Once you get to positive 35, what's the next logical step? You have to begin falling. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to start falling. This action potential will start falling. And that's basically where I'm going to stop for right now. The reason why it's falling is the following, all stated right here.